Hi, this last video clip is about surgical insemination. And it's just what it sounds. The animal is under general anesthesia. A small incision is made in the abdominal wall. The uterus is lifted up to the incision. And a small volume of sperm is injected into each uterine horn. We'll use this technique when we have one insemination dose that's either poor quality, or if we only have one dose of frozen semen, or if the semen is very rare in the cases when our stud has passed and we have just, just those number of insemination doses left. Um, we'll, we are now starting to go more towards transcervical insemination because both techniques will get the semen into the, the uterus and bypass the cervix in both instances. Sometimes we'll do a combination of breeding when we have two frozen doses. We will do a transcervical the first day and then a surgical the second day. But uh, like I said, a lot of people are now starting to move more towards transcervical because we don't have issues with general anesthesia, we don't have issues with an abdominal incision or any kind of complications of the abdominal incision. In terms of animal rights, it's considered more humane using a transcervical versus a surgical. And um, anyway, so that's, that's just kind of like a wrap up of the four ways that we can inseminate a dog that's natural, vaginal, transcervical, or surgical. If you have any questions, just give us a call here at Toronto Country Animal Hospital in Naples, Florida.